It is currently 4 a.m. We're going to read my viewers' confessions. We're going to get deep right now, real deep. No ditty. All right. I'm skipping past the BS ones, chat. I punched my laptop and broke it prank playing Rocket League. Like, that's stupid. I love... Mm. Yo. See, this is why I don't do this. One of my friends beat his meat in class. He was sitting at the front of the class. I, like... Back when I was 13, I had my stepmom's credit card on my Xbox. I never got along with her, so I went on a $900 shopping spree. Chat, I think we all have been there. The mom's credit card phase. I'll leak it. When I was, I think I said this before, when I was 10, I've, I spent $10,000 on my mother's credit card. Clash of Clans, Roblox, I was ballin', chat. I was no troll. I didn't understand what money was. I just thought like her little credit card in the purse was just getting me for free. Who's we? You guys didn't do that? But my mom got all the money back. I swear to God, it's, it's a real story, bro. On God. I spent 10,000. Bro, I was doing it for months. Months. And then she finally got the bill and she was like, gang, you can't do that. Like money is a currency. Like I work for that. And I was like, oh... Dude, I, I was buying my boys Robux. I was buying my boys gems on Clash Clans, bro. I was him. But she got all the bread back, and I still had the, the currency, so. All right, let's see the next confession. I looked at my teacher, Gat. So I hit my dad with a glass bottle last year. That it. One had to present a project when I was hard in class. Safe to say some people saw. That's creepy. Okay. There's this girl that's going into the 11th grade this semester. I'm going into 10th. I really like her. However, she has a boyfriend. I don't really know if I should wait until they break up or tell her now. What do you advise? Chat, what do we, what do we tell him? Well, first of all, you're in 10th grade. Don't, don't worry about girls. You know what I mean? That's where most people waste their time in high school with relationships. Don't do that. Um, and if she has a boyfriend gang, she didn't pick you. She picked the other guy. So, and she's literally gonna, no troll. This is my prediction. You, you, if you told her, say you texted her on snap. Hey, I have a crush on you. I know you have a boyfriend. I'm not trolling. She's going to show her boyfriend that is going to be on story. Next day, you're going to go to school. It's going to be on the smart board. Okay. Don't get leaked. Don't tell her. Take that shit to the grave gang. Give it like a month. You'll be over her. Faithful just redeemed 30 minutes plus. Okay, thanks, Faith. Chat, was that W advice? Nah, bro, you real? Was that you? These are anonymous, chat. All right. I had feeling for this girl since grade seven. I never told her my feeling, and we're graduating next month. Um, get on, yo, get on my stream right now. Call her right now on stream. Confess. If you're down, let me know, bro. I have no way to see who this is, though, so probably not gonna happen. The ads are, oh, should I wait for ads? Should I turn off ads? Matter of fact, it's late night. How do I turn them off? All right, I turned off ads. Well, technically the lowest I can make it is 30 seconds every uh, hour. Chat, I turned off ads for you guys because I want you guys to lock in for this. I turned off ads. It, it has to be on, it's 30 seconds every hour. So I think we're good, but uh, in the chat for that. But look, oh, I think I read this one, yeah. Chat, if you guys missed it, this guy said, there's this girl going into the 11th grade. I'm going in 10th. I really like her, but she has a boyfriend. I don't know if I should tell her or wait till they break up. What do you advise? She has a boyfriend, so obviously she don't f*** with you. I'm going to be real. So take that to the grave. Give it a month. You'll forget about her. I had feeling for this girl since 7th grade. Yeah, I read that one. Um, I never told her my feelings. Yo, if you're in the stream, if you had feelings for this girl since 7th grade, I'm down to wingman you, bro. Listen, get on my stream right now. Call her. I'll f tell you what to say, maybe. If you're down. I can't see who this is, and yeah. Bro, that's my message. That's probably Cap. Anyways. I shot my sister with a water gun with piss in it. You're sick. You ain't wingman- You ain't wingmanning me, bro. They asked me for advice. One time I was at a sleepover, and I peed my pants. Hold on, let me change the title. All right. One time I was at a sleepover, and I peed my pants. I didn't want to get up and clean it. So I ended up blaming it on the dog. They never found out it was me- and to this day, she still doesn't know. Yo, take that to the grave, gang. You didn't have to say that one. I mean, respect for uh, telling that. All right, next confession. Yo, you're a creep. I nutted in someone's panties. You're such a creep. I, I vape and I'm 13. You're going to be dead at 20 if you don't lock in, bro. What are you doing? Okay. Okay, so one time my grandma... Okay, so one time when my grandma used to go to church, 
I used to steal her gum and candy because it was so good. And she asked me if I'm the one who took it and I blamed it on my little cousin. Damn. A year or two back, I was maybe 16 or 17, I found a cute girl on Insta and we met up. So we get to my place. She looked a little different. I was like, I, it's fine. So we sat on my bed, watched Netflix, and we spoon. Then I realize it's a man and his penis is bigger than mine. Wow. Me personally, I would have took that to the grave. I'm going to be real. I hope you're trolling. I gooned to your stream once. You're so weird. I once found myself genuinely so lost. I took a knife and almost ended my life. Hey, that's deep, bro. You're never lost. You're never alone. I'll pray for you, whoever you are. God bless this man or woman. In the Father, Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. My brother and I were sneaking out of our house two years ago. We went to a nearby pub. We were kids. We drank alcohol, and our parents still don't know. I came back drunk. How did they f let you in a bar? All right. Yo, I'm not even... What the f*** is this? Yo, I'm not even kidding. I walked into my stepmom my older brother this is actually not a joke and she got arrested yo what Nah, that's crazy i've gained a lot of weight recently and people have called me big back many time and i'm feeling a little sad about it that's good when you feel sad that's good use that as motivation to uh lose weight weight comes and goes life is only here once Mmm, wait, does that make sense? Probably not. But yeah, man, listen, what really matters, your mother still loves you. I guarantee everyone in this chat, if she's here or if she's not here, regardless, she loves or loved you. Even if you gain 300 pounds, your mom will still love you. And that's all that matters, bro. You don't got to worry about no or um, anyone calling you big bro. I may have gone fishing in an illegal spot where fishing was not allowed and caught a fish and took it home. You're a rebel. In eighth grade, I got in trouble for something and they had and had to sit by the computer. I was fidgeting with the computer cord and damaged it on accident. I didn't tell. The next day, the teacher tried to hook it up to project her laptop screen and it obviously wasn't working. Okay. A group of people on Discord made such horrible false allegations about me and have a huge following so everyone believed them based off of their word alone. I had to screenshot it. I had to screenshot proof. It was, it got so bad. One of them mind me, one of the mind broke me mentally using my IRL trauma against me. I tried to end my life. I ended up developing anorexia and self-harming. This happened last year and the amount of death threats was insane. I haven't hurt myself since, but it's been, but it's forever left a mark on me. I wish I could have gotten justice for what happened to me, but they have devoted followers. I didn't want any more death threats. All right, let me give you some advice. First of all, I'm glad you're still here with us. Number two, you got to get off the internet. I mean, if you're spending that much time on Discord and you're friends with these like leaker people, listen, at the time, if they made false allegations, I have a simple fix. This button right here turns off your phone. So if you're getting all these death threats and all these allegations on you it's all in this box okay you press this button you put the phone down real life is here no one no one is that good advice or is that fucked up because that's actually what i think like dude if everyone was hating on me in my chat right now i'd be fine because i look away from my screen i don't see it's all on the screen but uh glad you're still here just maybe uh don't spend that much time on discord or something okay when I was 13, I spent $100 on a children's game while my parents were shopping and they never brought it up. I have hatred for people that can't be changed help. I'm not a therapist, but I don't know what I'm supposed to say to that. I uh, can't help you. Maybe see a therapist. I hopped the border. Okay. When I, was seven, when I was seven, my older sister and I got into a fight and I got so angry, I jumped on her and pushed her down and bit her neck. It started bleeding and I felt terrible since my mom yelled at my sister instead of me. I honestly hated being the favorite growing up. I realized how my sister got treated so unfairly. Sorry if this was a terrible confession. No, that's a good one. Damn, man. Me and my cousin Deadass both got naked and just touched each other. I catfished my friends online for two years and I got caught. Good. 
Growing up, I had a friend who was adopted, and the rest of her siblings were also adopted. We were sixth graders, and her adopted brother was a ninth grader. They had a weird relationship. Honestly, while staying the night, we watched a movie such as her and her brother and older sisters. Late into the movie, I saw them under the blanket doing stuff. Went to sleep not saying anything and immediately left when I woke up. Fast forward years later, he is now in jail for doing stuff to underage girls. Wow, that's crazy. That's actually wild. This is a long one. I don't know if this is wild, but it was super wild for me. I'm 16. I'm 16 and I live in the basement of my parents' house and had a friend come over recently and we decided to sneak out of the house and f around around downtown. We got on those lime scooter things. Let's just say, long story short, we ended up getting stranded four hours from home at four in the morning. It was super f cold and we were hungry, so we decided to stop at McDonald's since it was open. Some crackhead homeless guy comes out of nowhere and stole my scooter while I was on it, and the app was glitching. That guy spent $120 on that scooter before we could get it turned off. After we turned off, after we turned it off, we ordered McDonald's off the app. We went through the drive-thru, and apparently they don't serve to people on scooters. This is true. I have experience. So they scammed us out of $10. We got the scooter app back and running, but bo both of our scooters are almost dead. So we went to find more. I'm just going to say, long story short again, they died two hours from home by foot and had to walk 90% of it before finding more scooters. Made it home just barely before sunset, traumatized, being caught because we were miles from home. I'm still scared to this day about this. I can't sleep sometimes. Still, it keeps running through my head, and I'm hoping it passes on soon. What the fuck? I'm going to be real. Like That sounds like a good-ass story to tell your kids. Like Yeah, you're probably traumatized now, but in 10 years, you're probably like, damn. What was so traumatizing, though? And how the fuck did you get four hours away from your house on a scooter gang i don't know this person wrote i tried on aliving myself i'm glad you're still here don't do that because then you can't live life it won't be worth it i mean if you kill yourself you probably just hate your family because then they're going to be traumatized they're going to be like my kid killed himself i failed as a parent you don't want your family to feel like that right is that up i don't know but like for real if you if if you really hate yourself and you want to end it it's just like you got to hate everyone else in your life because it's not like you just end your life and then bye gone no it's like your family's gonna be traumatized what did i do wrong how could i prevented that how could i have prevented that glad you're still here though there is this girl on the bus i like she talks to me a lot i don't want to get friend zoned nico what do i do chat i don't know advice for this probably just go play a video game or some shit. you don't gotta trip about girls if you're still on the school bus um I have a crush on a sixth grader and I'm in fourth. Yo, if you're in fourth grade, get the fuck out of my stream. No troll. Go watch Nick A30. Fourth grade. I actually want to end stream. That's wild. Me and my girl was pretty much into each other and my classmate stole her. Oh, I didn't hate him though, but I felt betrayed. She glazed him so much and after three months, they broke up. We haven't texted for almost a year. What should I do if I want to get back with her? You shouldn't get back with her because your friend stole her. So clearly she didn't give a shit about you. So don't make your emotions revolve around a girl because you can't make your emotions revolve around someone else. It's like relying on someone else. And if you're still in school, it's like, bro, have fun. You don't want to be living your school life all sad and shit, like heartbroken. There's other shit besides girls, trust. Anything else. That girl will come to you. No troll. When the time is right, it could be in a month, it could be in a year. Let the girl come to you. Don't chase. When a girl is like coming to you, it's like, oh, okay, you can't chase. Law of attraction. When you chase something, it's going to run away. But if you're sitting still and something runs towards you, take up that opportunity, my boy. Mmm, that was the quote of the day. Clip. Okay. I found a hidden envelope in my mom's room with $2,000 inside of it. She was saving for a pre she was saving for a pre-owned car on Facebook Marketplace, but I spent it on Fortnite V-Bucks and candy no I, you're up i don't i don't even care about the rest that's like what the i tried spending it all in a day so i didn't have to come home with money 
Like a week later, my dad asked me how I got my subscription, so I told him he made it off work. He made me work off. He made it. He made me work it off. And he put the money back like nothing happened. Oh my god. Your dad is clutch. I, yo, you're such a creep. Okay. When I was younger, I was on my dad's phone in his room watching YouTube on his phone. He got a call, so I went to give him his phone. And you know what? I walked in on him and my stepmom convincing my sister. This was almost 10 years ago. I still think about it every now and then. I don't think we've ever spoken about it. Is that say convincing? Wait, he got a call, so I went to give him his phone. And you know what? I walked in on him and my stepmom. Is this convincing? Because this makes no sense. Let me look up this word. Oh, I'm reading it wrong. I don't know what this word is, but it says become pregnant with a child. Conceive. Oh, conceiving. Wow, I have a fifth grade reading level, but that's not the issue here. Now that's crazy. You walked in on your dad and your stepmom with your sister? Wow. I'm not gonna lie. I don't wanna give my, should I give my opinion? I'm not gonna say it. Okay. Last year I was really mentally unstable and never got the attention I needed. I decided to chat at a school and tell a teacher. Oh, so I can get the attention and help. I got sent to a psych ward for a month and it genuinely helped me and I got the right meds and helped get my mindfulness. To this day, I'm doing so much better. My addiction, what is SH addiction? I don't know what that is. Well, you're almost a year clean, congrats. That's that's lit, that's an accomplishment. If you went a year without whatever that is, you, you can go your whole life without it. Wait, what is, oh, self-harm. Oh, yeah. My high school has a Discord server and I joined it as a joke. Fast forward a couple days, my friends come over and sends hella bad gifts, images, etc. The next day, I get pulled up to the principal's office and suspended because I ain't no snitch. But I told the principal I got hacked and bro believed it. I'm not gonna lie, you should have snitched, gang. Your boys would have snitched on you, so I ain't taking the blame for no one. I love sniffing my cousin's underwear. I sleep on the phone every night with a new e-girl. What do I do? I don't know. I'm 100% sure there is a ghost or negative energy in my house second floor it's a really it's a really looking story i really have proofs and everything and my mom and brother feel negative energy too but my father won't believe us i don't know when i was 10 i tried to end my life and earlier when you tried to look at my tiktok account i probably said i was nine i've gotten so many memories i said i was prob nine i've gotten so many memories huh anyways you were 10 years old bro you didn't even develop thoughts yet i don't know what the f that's crazy if that's real. I'm glad you're here though. Anyways, in school I was feeling mad so I hit a wall and ran to the bathroom, used urine, and went a little on the wall on purpose, peed on the toilet a bit, ran to class, made a fake sneeze. When the teacher was talking and then at recess I pressed to kit. Yo, that's all over the place. I don't know what's going on with you. Um, I was sleeping with my 25 year old cousin. I'm a minor by the way. Blank me and touched me inappropriately and this was like two weeks ago he's going to lose his jobs he has a job and it involves kids yeah turn that in you better have gone to the cops gang i hope you didn't just write it in my twitch stream confessions real shit. go to the cops this one's long while growing up my mom would always yell at my sister for things that she didn't do she would always blame her for things I did. I would feel terrible and it made me hate my mom so much. I was so young, my parents would always argue with each other and I would always take my dad's side. I love my dad and I always will. When I was 13, I learned more things and understood more stuff. I was led to believe the fights between my family were, were started because of me. I started hating myself even more. I started hurting myself for months. I tried to end it a little later at my cousin's house when my parents weren't there. It was it obviously didn't work and I tried hiding it until my best friend told my mom since I left her a note. I feel terrible for doing it and I don't wanna hurt myself anymore. I realize I should still love my mom because I'm only here because of her. I regret everything I've done every day and I know how to live my life now. Also wanted to say your videos helped me quite a bit and put a smile on my face so thank you. Sorry for the long message. That's, I appreciate it. Um, yeah, I'm, I'm glad. I mean, you were young. You can't really blame yourself. 
you know, you're here now and your parents are still here. So God bless. You're brave for admitting that. I saw two students getting abused by a teacher sexually during lunch and he caught me and asked me to join him. I reported to him and I'm still traumatized to this day. What the? All right, chat. I'm, I'm going to end stream.